Reducing Waste from Single-Use Plastic Bags Part 1, Abstract and Statistics, The Waste of Single-Use Bags and Why the Current Policy Needs to Change Background Info In the United States, 100 billion bags are consumed yearly. That's a lot of bags. Because of plastic grocery bags and other plastic waste, our storm drains and waterways become clogged. Not to mention, marine animals mistake the bags for food and end up dying after ingesting the harmful plastic. If we made the switch to reusable bags in at least Houston, we would be reducing waste and pollution significantly. But what's the issue with plastic bags? It would be great if all 100 billion plastic bags were easily recycled, but sadly only 1% of them are recycled correctly. Not to mention, they won't break down until 500 years have passed. These type of numbers are dangerous, and with the COVID pandemic, they're only getting higher. Despite all of this, plastic bags are in almost every American home because retail giants continue to use them for nearly every purchase made in their stores. The statistics. The United States produces the most plastic waste out of any country per person, as you can see on this chart, and the difference between the United Kingdom and United States is huge. Changing our plastic use habits would influence and impact the world. But why now? Technology in the future will save our planet, not us. Those words are the biggest arguments against making sustainable choices. But is this true? Humans have been around for hundreds of years, and yet our Earth is getting worse. Human geographers say that it's not too late to make a change. Reusable bags are just one step to a cleaner and more sustainable lifestyle. By implementing this change, we would not only reduce our own plastic waste, but also influence others to do the same. Not to mention, the fossil fuels burnt while making these plastic bags are irreplaceable, all for humans to use them on an average of 10 seconds per bag. Comparison, why we should make the change now. For single-use grocery bags, most Americans use it for 10 minutes on average. It takes years to break down and clog storm drains. When recycled, it can become tangled machinery and usually ends up going to landfills. For reusable bags, they can be used for 1-3 to three years, they're easier to break down, and they reduce waste. And it's plus, it's better for the environment. Which one do you think is better? Only one of them prevents things like this from happening. Part 3. How we can make the change. Although it seems unrealistic for the entire United States to make a change, we Estonians have the power to start small with local businesses and stores. Policy Proposal. The main plan of this policy proposal isn't just to advocate for change, but to make it. But what does this mean? Reusable bags must be offered at every store location, and they should also do their part to start selling more eco-friendly products. But how can we make this change? We can start off small. Social media is a great way to start campaigning, reposting posts that share information on the benefit of reusable bags and using our accounts to educate others. Writing emails to legislators, mayors, and state representatives is a big way to help. Buying reusable bags, encouraging family and friends to do the same. Also, asking your local businesses if they can make the change to reusable bags. Currently, there are no plastic bag bans in place in Houston. Plastic bags are polluting our neighborhoods, and tons of plastic waste every year goes to landfills or ends up in the ocean. Post-policy, though, there would be a ban restricting, restricting stores to only offer plastic bags. You would see less bags in the neighborhood and cleaner roads and highways. Plastic waste will always be a huge issue, but when implementing policies like these, the general public becomes more aware of the environmental issues and this creates a domino effect that can save our future. And here are some expert opinions. The only thing left to do is make a change. Thank you.